been a provocateur, to use an overseas expression. And my characters are really created in order to provoke. Uh, they're not always politically correct, I'm happy to say. And when improvising, I have to make a, a bit of a split second decision quite often and not say what I feel, but what they might feel or how they might express it. I have to push my own ideas to one side and allow the views of these characters to come through. This was put to the supreme test on stage on the opening night on Broadway in 1999. Now, Edna was on stage, center stage, and I had a bit of a view through her glasses, and um, there was a woman in the front row, a rather ostentatious woman of a certain age. I thought she might have been a film star of a half-forgotten movie star. <clears throat> she was wearing sunglasses at night indoors. <laughs> so Edna called her Four Eyes, and she was called Four Eyes throughout the evening. <laughs> and at the end of the show, when the dame invites various people she's selected onto the stage to take a curtain call, she asked Four Eyes to come up. And uh, this was a disastrous decision. The woman leapt to her feet, and only then did I see the white stick. <laughs> the death of comedy. <laughs> As she rose, Edna said, don't, darling, we don't, please stay seated. She refused. She was a stubborn old Sheila, and she, <laughs> she made her way defiantly, if crookedly, to the stairs. As she mounted the stairs with her stick, a silence fell on the audience. A silence a tragedian would have envied. She came up the stairs and she wove across the stage towards me. You could, hear, could have heard a pin drop. She was standing there and I thought, what do I do? This is the end of my American career before it's even begun. I thought, we apologize. I should apologize to the audience. And then I thought, what did we learn in motoring? You drive into the skid. <laughs> this is a catastrophic event. The only thing to do is to make it worse, <laughs> much worse. The woman was there, and Edna suddenly said, well, at least you didn't bring the dog. <laughs> well, the woman collapsed with laughter, so did the audience. I was off the hook. We did a long season on Broadway, and at the end of it, the Tony Award we won. So, I thought...